एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In the first part of the video, we have seen an example of converting orthographic view into an isometric view. Now, in this part, we would be considering a tougher example so that the students find easy on how to convert uh, this orthographic view into an isometric view. Welcome to West Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia, and this is the second part of the video, which is conversion of orthographic view into isometric view. If you want to learn the concepts in detail, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So let us start with the video. This is the second part of the video, uh, which is titled "Conversion of Orthographic." views into isometric views in this we are on module number 5 which is this topic conversion of orthographic view into isometric views so for this we would consider an example in which there would be a situation in which you are given with the front view and the side view along with the side view you are also given with the top view as well so you can see that you are given with the front view and the front view is like this the dimensions are being indicated here that means this length is 20 this length is also 20 this length is also 20 and in the side view you have this object in which the lengths are mentioned there the top view also have an object in which the lengths are also mentioned now what to do we will start uh, this uh, isometric conversion of this object by making the similar uh, type of uh, process or the diagram that we have followed till date which is we'll start by making a line and we'll get the inclination of the line as 30 degree and we'll make two lines now what will happen we'll have the height which is uh, 20 given because this point is labeled as O and this can also be labeled as O. So from O we have kept this height as 20. So we have kept this height as 20. Now we'll proceed as per the front view part because in uh, the isometric projection the front view is being made in this region in the x and y region so for that we would be preparing the front view initially and then we'll be clubbing it with the top view aspect so what uh, what we'll do initially we have increased the height to 20 and then uh, as this part is 20 again this part is again 20 so we will uh, use the parallel line and make these parallel lines together so this is a parallel line and we'll have again a parallel line which is 20 and from there as you can see that this height is again there so we'll consider a height again which is of length 20 and from there you have this length which is again 20 so this is to be made then you have again a height which is 20 so again you have to prepare the height which is 20 perpendicular to this base and finally you have the closure which is this length again this length is 20 and then join it together so that it comes to an end now you can see that this was initially 20 20 and 20 the, this becomes a, a closed figure right so you have the front view prepared with you so that means this part would be uh, of the length 20 20 and 20 that means this would be 60 and this would again be 60 so that means this box entirely is of 60 by 60 as indicated here so this is 20 20 20 that means 60 and the base is also 60 there now what to do next uh, we'll come to the top view part you can see in the top view you have this 50 mm 
length and this length is shown by a dropping down scenario. Now you know the concept of orthographic projection when you look at the object from the top you will get the top view and then you need to rotate the horizontal plane also that's why it is coming in the vertical fashion otherwise this is in the horizontal part only. So for this you have to create a length which is let's say 50 mm so this length is 50 mm and then you need to increase the height of this 50 mm to certain distance which is as per this condition so what you will do you will mark the 50 mm length over here and you will increase this height to uh, let's say 60 mm because this part is 60 this part is 50 so you have taken this 50 here and 60 is increased to this aspect then you need to join the cases together so it becomes a closed figure by joining the parallel parts together right so this one was 60 this you have taken as 50 and this height was 60 as per the given view and then you have increased the height and then this situation came now what is required you have this length as 20 so you need to start with that o point only uh, this was o and this point we are here in so from this point you need to keep a distance of 20 so take this distance initially as 20 and then after 20 you have this height as 30 so take the height as 30 and join them together so this can be joined together correct now uh, this is the top view and you are watching the object from the top and this view is obtained that means these gaps these 30 parts are to be made these height these lengths are 30 and the height of the same is 20 so what you will do you will create these lengths as 30 from each corner because this indicates 30 everywhere so you will create the 30 30 and again the 30 on each and every corner and from that corner you will drop down the height to a distance of 20 similar to this again so you will drop down the height to 20 correct so this can be joined because uh, in order to maintain the uniformity then again this is uh, at a distance of um, 20 as mentioned and then it is being joined with the help of this part so this becomes a 3d object so when the observer was watching it from the front the observer would get this object or this view as a front view and similarly when the object when the observer was watching it from the top the observer would get these lengths which was 30 so we'll get these lengths as 30 and these heights are 20 and because the top view is rotated that's why these 30 uh, lengths are being shown as the reverse as per the general trend or the general scenario in orthographic projections and finally when you look at from the side you will get this view so this is the situation in which uh, uh, a much more complex object can be produced with the help of this uh, methodology on how to convert orthographic projections or orthographic views into isometric views. So with this we come to the end of the second part of the video in which we have taken much more complex problem on how to convert orthographic view into an isometric view. If you want to learn the concepts in detail, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.